How are you guys doing today? I'm going to be frying me up some squirrel that I shot this morning. I'm getting ready to uh, put the flour in the bowl here. I just got some all-purpose flour. Just getting ready to put it in the bowl. Put some uh, little bit of seasons in with it. I got some corn on the stove here. Just a couple, couple cobs of corn. And I'm going to be doing some green beans with it as well. Get you a look at the corn. It's in there. The water's getting hot. I set you back down. Sorry, I know my camera steadiness ain't so well so I am going to get another bowl here this one is just simply for the milk I'm going to do a light a light little milk wash on it for the breading. All right, I got my flour in the bowl. I'm gonna add my salt and pepper. I must drop the salt on the floor. I'm gonna add a little bit of spice to it as well and add some Tony Shasheries. got the salt and the pepper in so uh, now I'm going to add my Tony Shasheries Creole into the mix it's a brand new container to pop her open for the first time there we go take a whole bunch just a little bit and then I'm going to mix it up real good so all-purpose flour salt pepper and Tony Shasheries just to give it a little bit of spiciness a little heat get the cast iron skillet up here cast iron skillet heating up and I am going to quickly get this bowl taken care of I gotta get the green beans in it if you'll give me just a second here I've got this power can opener I still trying to get used to using it I hardly ever used one before. I'd rather have them hand manual one. But it was given to me. And it works fairly well. Just a little weird to use. I'm going to uh, put some butter in on here and I'm going to just throw them in the microwave sometimes I heat them up on the stove but this time they're going to go in the microwave and I'm going to also put some salt and some pepper on them before they go to heat up me 
sorry. Throw those in for a minute for now. So now I'm going to take my squirrel. I'm going to wash it around in the milk. I've done rinsed it off. Just roll it around in the milk. And throw it in the flour. Throw it in my nice little breading that I made up here. You want to make sure it's coated real good all the way around. And then you just repeat until you're done with all the squirrel. my fingers out. I like uh, frying them in the cast iron skillet. Sometimes I'll put them on a pan and put them in the oven. But uh, I don't know. Something about a good old cast iron skillet I like. I'm just frying them in butter. Just as simple as that. And uh, when I'm done, I'll have me some squirrel, some corn, and some green beans. And as long as I didn't over reheat my biscuits in the oven I just shut them off as long as I didn't overdo them I think I'll be fine now I'll have some biscuits too check that out guys nicely coated need some fingers off here fingers get breaded more than the meat I swear I gotta stir my green beans. I laid it in there for a minute. Stir them up a little bit. Put them back in for just another minute. And those should be fine. Now check it out, guys. I've got my corn going. It's a boiling. And I've got my squirrel frying. And then I've got my green beans in the microwave. Guys, let's see here. I've got to pull out my biscuits. I've got my biscuits in the aluminum foil. I had them in the fridge. I baked them this morning. I'm going to set you guys down right there for a moment. But yeah. I am going to uh, enjoy a pretty good meal. I do believe. Turn it full down. Yeah, I like turning it down real low so that way it doesn't get too carried away and make it tough. I like to cook it nice and slow. Just uh, here at the house, guys. Just here at the house. Got my little doggy outside. He enjoys being in the backyard.
just going to sit here and have a dinner all to myself and enjoy what I was blessed with this morning to get in the woods was that fine gray squirrel you might have seen in a video earlier today. But, uh, I had my kids a little while ago and we went to the park and played for a little bit and then went to track the supply and grab some dog food. I'll be needing to feed him here soon. You probably have dinner about the same time I do. He's already ate a little bit today. But I got my my biscuits. They did pretty good reheating them. The oven's off of them. We'll still stick them back in there and let the heat just set on them. Keep them warm. The green beans are good to go. But yeah, guys, I, uh, I'm going to flip my squirrel here. Just take your fork. And doesn't take much. If you've never done squirrel before, it's just a basic kind of easy throw together breading to make them with. And you just slowly fry it and just let it cook. Let it take its time. Don't get into a rush. There's my corn. But yes, guys, I just take your time. Don't get into a rush. Slow cook your meat just like anything else. Steak, pork chop. It tends to not be quite as tough and it cooks all the way through without burning the outside. So it should come out pretty good. I had to turn it down. It was up a little too high. But she's a cooking. She'll be done here in about 10 minutes. The corn will be done. It'll be done here shortly. It's been boiling for about 10 minutes, so it's probably about done. Eh, not quite 10 minutes, but... I'll get this together, guys, and then I'll show you the finished product. 